decolonial approach to mission is premised on the idea that uh, we are living in a we are still living in a colonial world, even though countries are given formal independence and uh, independent movements are primarily the cause of that. Um, systems and mental frameworks that were that were established during the colonial period is still existing and still pervades in many in many countries today and that requires us to decolonize having to acknowledge that that uh, that situation is a big step towards a more just society many people in the philippines have are, are affiliated somehow with church or uh, or or faith groups one of the ways we have to decolonize is to decolonize our faith and to decolonize the resources of our faith where do we give our faith resources who do we justify or whose power do we want to justify i think those are important questions when when we are relating faith resources as to the work of transformation or social transformation in the philippines the lands that were given by colonial spain and later on was right on by U.S. Uh, col colonizers still is still in the hands of the of those people who collaborated with with the with the colonizers. So in the, so in the Philippines, that's important that that we decolonize the way uh, we manage the land and distribute it to the people who are experiencing injustice or experiencing oppression because they don't have the means or the resources to. Uh, to do or to experience social mobility. That is also the, the reason why our faith resources has to be accompanying and justifying social movements that create or that, that pushes for land reform, that pushes for the, the rights of indigenous peoples and uh, farmers, basically uh, sectors that are marginal from uh, from the political system you cannot prevent migrants from migrating because there's no job in the in the in the philippines the land the, the means of production is still in the hands of the powerful and i think it's important for wcc for cwme to listen to the voices of the migrants be attuned to the logic or to the rationality of suffering of the migrants and that is sometimes against the law so our, our christian tradition uh, points us to to surpass the law and be graceful and uh, adapt grace. I think that's those are theological, just theological images that we can, that CWME and WCC could could look into to really advocate for the situation of migrants.